Voltando a falar de livros, é, você é um divulgador de ciência para o público? Qual que é o segredo de falar de ciência e criar conexão e interesse com um público que não necessariamente é, in, é interessado em ciência? Você pode, por exemplo, apelar para o lado humano, mas se você vai falar de célula, uma hora você vai ter que falar de mitocôndria, por exemplo. Como que faz isso para manter o interesse das pessoas? Well, that's a nice question. Um, I try to keep the interest by, first of all, by being interested myself. Uh, if you're not interested in, in writing or discovering or doing the research that involves writing, then it's unlikely you'll ever interest anyone else. So I approach the books as if with the, the excitement of the very first time I learned about mitochondria. Uh, that same excitement uh, in, in researching, in understanding should come through in the book. Uh, that's one principle. And the second thing is um, I try to use language that is simple, but is does not make the make it, um, uh, you know, in America, we call it dumb down um, the, the science. Um, you, um, I think the general approach that I've taken, and there were lots of critics when I first started writing my book, but the general approach that I've taken is that a lay audience is actually ex an extremely sophisticated audience. Um, the public, um, you know, if you don't know that what you're writing about or talking about, a, a, a very astute reader or any reader will also know in a second that you don't, that you haven't done the work. So you have to really be convinced yourself and have the confidence to be able to tell the story And it's only when you have that confidence you find that you can actually tell the story in simple language. Um, science is just a language. It is a, a wonderful language, but it's a language. Um, it has some jargon inside it, but you can get rid of the jargon. Um, and uh, once you have gotten rid of the jargon, I think the public is really hungry to understand. I mean, people are hungry to understand about COVID. Um, They are hungry to understand why this pandemic happened. What is this virus? Where did it come from? What is it going to do to us? Yeah, so if, in fact, this is even more a time when we need writers and thinkers to think about science and explain it to the public so that the erosion of public trust in science that has been spearheaded by um, you know, populist uh, government uh, officials can be restored and the public learns to trust science again.